Hi guys. Turn that off. Turning off my fan. I thought I would come and show you and see if any of these are ready to come out yet. You can, this is another reason why I don't reuse them. Besides the fact I can't get them out is because they get all um, oil stained and whatnot from the oil. Um, I had leftover mix, so I just made a little, little, you know, puck type thing. So anyways, I'm not going to take the big ones out. I haven't lied these on their sides or done anything. I've just left them as is since yesterday. So, and I gotta watch. Oh, we got 25 minutes today. So, what I'm gonna do, if I can, and like I said, this is why, in a good way, I have a few little ones. I did a few more little ones yesterday after I shut off. So, as you see, I got, um, what we got for big? Two, four, six big ones, and I got four little ones. So, I kind of test the mix, and it does feel somewhat dry. If you guys can't see past these funny looking wicks, can you? So, how I get them out, and like I said, I can't guarantee these are going to work right now. Um, kind of clean that off. Anyways, what I do, is you notice with a toilet paper roll, they have that line that goes around. I find the one at the top, where it meets up. I give it a snip. And then I just peel. You might lose a tiny bit of the top of your bomb, but, you know. And then I peel it off. And there's a bomb. And now I'll leave this to dry. Get out of here, fly. I will leave this to dry um, for another day. That's pretty dry, though. You can kind of see the embeds in a couple spots. Um, it's nice and smooth and hard. There's no powdery texture whatsoever. So shall we try another one? Let's try taking this little guy out. Like I said, once they're really dry, you can really clean them up. But I go to where the line is, give it a snip, just put a little snip right there, can you see that? Just a little snip where the line meets up on the ball, on the, on the roll, and we peel, and like I said, I might find one that's broken, um, here we go, kind of be gentle because you don't know if it's going to crack in the middle, you don't know. All right, there's another one, nice and smooth. You can see kind of where my hand squeezed it sometimes. It's got some neat little characteristics, but there you go. And I would twist this all up afterwards when it's dry. So that's two. We'll try a little one, or should we try a big one? Let's try a big one and see what happens. Because one of these I felt was kind of funny in the middle, but let's just see if we can wrap up or unwrap a big one. I love this part, but like I said, anything can happen. They can break, they can have cracks in them. There we go. And the thicker toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls, sometimes they're a little hard to get off because you're pulling and it's tight and you don't want to push any pre or put any pressure on it and break it. Oh, I just cracked that poor puppy. Did I? Yeah, I did because I was pulling too hard. Let's just see if she's salvageable. Sometimes you can spray alcohol oh you know what it cracked my wick poked through from the top i put it in too far so i'm gonna keep going here hang on this does happen sometimes so let's just see if she's salvageable sometimes you can spray alcohol to fix it oh like i said they don't always all work this is a lot of pressure people you see the crack right across the top right where my wick is is that the only crack yep that's the only crack so the oh okay shit happens <laughs> well there's a little one this will be a demo piece it happens what can i say but see what happened um actually a couple things happened the wick was poking out the side but I just noticed, too, I had these two uh, embeds butted up against each other with no mix. There should have been um, mix in between to hold them. If you don't have any wick or mix between, there's not going to be anything to hold it together. So, hey, 
It happens. Shall we try another big one? I don't want to break any more, but just make sure you give it a feel. This one's pretty hard feeling. I think we might be okay with this one. So let's try... Let's try this one. I'm going to start at the bottom. It's already kind of peeling, so we'll just go for this one. And hopefully it's okay. Can't guarantee it always, but hey. So we got one broken one. Oh, this one's peeling off really... All right, the big ones are cracking because they're not dry enough. So I had one do this to me last time and I salvaged it. So I'm going to stand it up. You're going to see me if I can fix it. Don't count on it. Maybe the bigger ones aren't such a great idea. Let's hang it on to it here. All right. We got a crack in the middle, but we can take a bit of 99 here, and we're just going to try. Sometimes you can fix these little puppies. Not always. Actually, I think I'm going to use a... Let's try the lower liquid one here for a sec, because it might activate a bit, but it'll make it stick. Little bit of activation. This one, maybe. So I did the same thing with the wick on this one. I see the wick's poking out. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I popped the wick out. So we're just going to put that here very carefully. Off to the side. But it, it, it might be okay. It's hard to say. But like I said, this is why I dry them for an extra day. Because um, they're just sometimes not dry in the middle. Little ones, as you can see, dry faster. So um, they're not as difficult to open. Like I said, touch wood. I haven't cracked any little ones yet. Knock on wood. Fingers crossed, people. Oh, this one too. I didn't crack it, but I, I poked the um, wick out the side a little bit. Hell yeah. Uh, I did crack it right where the wick was. Okay, I didn't say this was going to be super easy. And maybe they're not dry enough. But see, that one cracked as well. Right there. Wow. Now we can... Yeah. There's two more demos. Actually, that was near the end when I, you guys stopped watching and it was starting to get dry. If you notice, the mix is a bit uh, dry. That's what happens when you get near the end and you start spraying alcohol. See what happens to your bombs? But I may do that for a demo. We may do that today. So I'm scared. Do I do any more? I guess we have to because we got to get them out. They got to dry. All right, folks. Fingers crossed. We'll see how this one goes. Like I said, you guys, I mean, it's not super easy, but this is partly why I want that other mold to the, um, the hard inner core tubing. Because then you can just, like, pop it out the end. But I don't know if that's going to be easier or not, to be honest with you. This one, guys, looks okay. There we go. We got a big one. And it's okay. So I'm not going to move it. I'm just going to move it over here a little bit. Keep it on the tray. That one's okay, and it was a tall one. <sighs> happens. It happens. So how many did we break? <laughs> two? Yeah, we only broke two. That happens, like I said. So we'll try a couple more. Like I said, you know what? Things don't always go smooth like you want. That's just... You know, par for the course. It happens sometimes. Um, but, you know, it's lessons learned, too. And, by the way, what I didn't show you, when I was packing these yesterday, and I said sometimes the embeds fall in and they off to a side and they're touching the edge, I used this um, wooden dowel, and I put it in, and I just kind of move it over so that you can get mix all around it so that your embed isn't touching the side of the mold. I mean, it doesn't always matter, 
but it's just it could be a weak spot in your bomb and you want these to be you know have good in integrity and, and structure so um, yeah if you can just kind of move your embeds around make sure they're not touching the sides too much a little tiny bit might be okay oh what's happening this paper doesn't want to rip anymore Come on, big boy. We're getting to the bottom, and so far, so good. I'm just trying not to squeeze the bomb as I pull, and I'm trying not to pull. I see an embed right at the edge here. But so far, it's okay. Don't you fall over. I may lie these down on their sides to dry. Um, if you can see that, I don't even know if I want to pick it up. But there's an embed right there. But that's okay. It's still strong. So I will leave these to dry standing up for a bit when we're done here. I'll leave the fan on and leave them standing up. And then I'll come back probably probably halfway through the day and lie them on their sides. Let them dry for a few more hours with the fan on. And then just check on them. And like I said, tomorrow I will have a look over with them. And if I find that they're strong... And not cracking. That's another one I threw the wick right through. Just be careful not to jam the wick down as far as I did. Maybe that's where when you use string it might be a little better. But there we go. There's another one that's okay. So that's that one. They smell really good. That juicy fruit stuff's amazing. Okay, one of these I said to you was soft in the sides yesterday, wasn't it? What I did afterwards was I squished it, banged it, rolled it around, and loosened all the mix. I tried to loosen all the mix. And then... Um, Packed it really tight again. So let's see if this one works. I got one more to unwrap after this. So if I've only broken two out of ten, we're doing all right. Fingers crossed, everybody. <laughs> So anybody, does anybody know what's going on on my Facebook page? Has anybody seen that? I've had some very strange... Um, oh, you're so soft in the middle. What's going on? There's an embed issue. That's where it was soft. This one's not going to make it. So anyways, yeah, there was some weirdness going on on my Facebook page with reviews from people that I have no clue as to what's going on. Like, seriously, they... This one's not going to work. Um, they wrote a review. Um, so we got mini ones. They wrote... Oh, they wrote... There was 12 people that wrote a review. One person said, I suck. I have no idea what that's about. Um, and then, like, this person said that I apparently like ripped off one of their friends, but nobody's coming forward to say who it is and what it was about or anything like that. So it kind of has me going, hmm, there's something fishy about this. So anyways, yeah, there's like 12 reviews. They were all posted like boom, 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 right after the other in about a span of, oh, I guess two hours or something like that. So I have no clue what it is, but if you guys, like I said, if anybody happens to see it or wonder why, why does she have so many one stars? Well, it's because some weird thing went through. Um, you know, I mean, I, I can't say that I'm perfect. Everybody has issues. You can't please everybody. But when it was something like that and they just kind of all came through, it was very fishy. And some of them were in, in like matters of seconds of each other. All these people were from the same place. And there was no reason as to why I got the one star. So that's one of the things I don't really like about Facebook is the fact that people can come and put a review on your page and not even have dealt with you. Because, I, I mean, I keep records of everybody that I sell to, especially when it comes to the Bling Bomb. Like, I have all my, um, well, any order on Etsy or wherever, actually, I, I have orders and records of everybody who has purchased from me. So, when I get these weird reviews on my page from people that I've never talked to or sold to or anything like that, it's just so freaking weird. Like, I don't understand it. So, yeah, there's some fishy stuff going on there. I'm not sure what that's about, but I just thought I would share that with you. Um, 
you guys, you know, or have questions or worry about anything on my page, just message me. I answer as fast as I can. Sometimes I don't get the notifications right away, but I will answer as fast as I can. So, anyways, I think right now what I'm going to do is go plop up a couple of these in the sink and we'll do a little review on it. Want me to do it at the end of this? Eh, I don't know if I can, actually. I may have to do it after, but for now, this is how we did it. So far, we broke, was it two? Three. We broke three out of ten. So I got seven. Um, that one over there may not make it. If it doesn't make it, then I've only got three big ones, three little ones. This is why, if you guys ask about prices and whatnot and things, it's not like it's an easy whip together. Some people think bombs are like, oh yeah, I can make them so easy. Well, certain people have found out, I'm not going to name names, but I'll say family, um, <laughs> have figured out that, oh, it's not as easy as it looks. And especially when you start doing farty things like this, but it's fun. And like I said, you live and learn, you learn how to do it neat and like that so anyway that's it for now i'm gonna go load this and then stay tuned for a little mini video sync demo all right because they're small i'll just put them in the sink thanks guys talk to you in a bit